Hello, welcome back. We're at uh, Big Idea 2. This is part four. Uh, so in this one, we're going to look at um, Lewis dot structures. So Lewis dot structures are um, essentially just a way to draw bonding. And so there, there's sort of some easy rules to follow. We're going to go over those real quick. But inevitably on the AP test, at some point, you'll be asked to draw a Lewis structure for either a molecule or a polyatomic ion. So um, I want to try to do examples of both a uh, molecule and a polyatomic ion, and I'll try to pick a couple that are, um, that are challenging in some ways. OK, so uh, let's go over these rules for, for doing a, uh, a Lewis structure real fast. Um, so here you go. So the first rule is to know the valence electrons. So, um, so so, like for example, uh, let's go ahead and um, and do some a, an example here. Let's do H two SO four. Okay. So if I'm going to know the valence electrons, um, my uh, my hydrogen is each going to have one, and there's two of them in here, so that's going to give me a total of two. Uh, my sulfur is in group six, so that's going to have a total of six. And oxygen is also in group six. So each of these is going to have six, and I have four of them total. So I have a total of 24 here. That's going to give me a grand total of 32 electrons. So, um, so one of the best places to start with doing Lewis dot structures is know how many electrons you have to work with. All right, so, um, so let's look at the, the next rule. The next rule is if it's a polyatomic ion, add or subtract the charges from the total. So there is a polyatomic ion in here, but since it combined with hydrogen, uh, the charges have, have canceled out. So we don't have to do that. But if you have a polyatomic ion alone, like for example, if we were just looking at SO4, so this is what we would do. We'd say that there's six here. And then um, the oxygen each has 6 times 4, that's 24. And the, um, the polyatomic ion as a whole has a negative 2 charge. That means that it has an extra 2 electrons. So that would give SO4 in and of itself 32 electrons. But since we combine with the hydrogen up here, that's where the SO4 got its 2 electrons that it would have um, just stole from something else otherwise. So. So if you have a polyatomic ion by itself, you add or subtract those, um, that, those extra charges from the total. But here we are. We're going to do um, H2SO4. Um, so now we need to draw the basic structure. And uh, the basic structure with all single bonds and to put the least electronegative atom in the center position. So let's take a look here. So our least electronegative atom in H2SO4 is sulfur. And that, there's only one of them here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to draw so the colors a little bit better, too. So I have sulfur right here. And uh, let me put the oxygens in red. So I'm going to put the four oxygens around that. Because I know that um, SO4 was a unit. It's a polyatomic ion. So I'm imagining that, that this was kind of a unit by itself. And what happened was these hydrogens came and tacked on here. So my guess is that they tacked on to um, some of the, any two of these oxygens. It doesn't matter which ones. And so like we said before, um, you need to draw single bonds for everything to start off. Now, um, so when you do this, you, you draw your initial structure, putting the least electronegative atom in the center position and the other ones around it. And then you draw single bonds to connect them all. That's just the simplest way to get started. Now what you got to do is you got to remember that you only have a certain number of electrons to work with. And each of your single bonds is two electrons. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve uh, electrons. So we've already used up um, twelve of our thirty-two electrons, um, which gives us a generous twenty left. But we're going to need to use them. So let's see what we got next. So next is add the electrons to the outside atoms first and then the center until they're all used up. So we know that we had 20 left. OK, um, so I'm going to put the electrons in. I'm going to go with green here. All right, that'll be fun. So um, so this one already has two sets here, so I'm going to give it another 
two, because what you want to do is add them to the outside, add them first. Now hydrogen is happy with the two, so it's already going to be good right here. So oxygen needs eight, so two, four, six, eight. And so now how many electrons have I, have I used another four? So I still got 16 left. So here's another four. And so I've got 12 left. I'm gonna need another more, that's six. So I've got 10 left. And over here, um, I'm gonna be able to fit four of them right here. Remember the goal of this is to give everybody an octet. So I still have six left. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, uh, let's double check. And so what I've done right here is I've made sure that everybody has their octets. And so far, it looks like everybody does. So sulfur has two, four, six, eight. Um, so that's uh, eight electrons. So two, four, six, eight electrons, uh, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. So there we are. We're exactly right. We have all of our electrons accounted for and everybody has a full octet. Um, so we did have a rule five here, and so reconcile the center atom by adding bonds. So um, if, for example, the center atom did not have eight electrons, uh, what I would do would, I, would be, I would take like one of these lone pairs up here and just turn it into a bond so that we had eight. But um, it turned out that the sulfur had eight electrons just with the single bond. So this one does not have any double bonds. Um, something I want to do real quick, in, because your assignments are going to use this Marvin sketch, and we've had some, some people fussing about Marvin sketch, and I even fuss about it myself, but it is a good tool nonetheless, and uh, I thought that what would be nice is if I just showed you real quickly um, how to take uh, the work that we did right here and, uh, and put it into a Marvin sketch model. So I'm going I'm to keep an eye on it, and one of the best ways to do this is just sketch this out, kind of like I did right here and then throw it into Marvin Sketch. So um, we've got sulfur, so I'm gonna click on the sulfur button. I'm gonna put that in the middle. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so that uh, I can see it better. Uh, there we go, right there, I'm happy with that. One more. Um, so remember I had oxygens, I had four of them, so I put them right here. One, two, three, four. So here's all your elements right here. And I had two hydrogens uh, sticking off the, the ends right here. So I had, um, I'm going to put this a little bit, actually, I'm going to put it up here and then up here. Okay, let's see. Um, so now um, what I want to do is I want to add the single bonds. So this line right here, this is single bonds. Um, and this is double bonds, and this is triple bonds. So it's pretty much all you're gonna be using for this scenario. So I'm gonna click on single bonds. And remember, that's the first thing you do. So I'm gonna click from there to there. So there's one single bond. I'm gonna click from there to there. There's another single bond from there to there. And I'm just uh, tapping on these, and it's creating single bonds. So I'm tapping on each one. And messed up, so I'm gonna do the undo, and boop, there we go. Um, so now um, everybody's got their single bonds that they need. So the next thing I need to do is two of these oxygens, remember, had um, double pairs. So um, what I wanna do is I wanna come over here, and I wanna click on this down, and I wanna say uh, two lone pairs. You see that? I, uh, I clicked on this right here, and it shows you what it's gonna do. It's gonna put two lone pairs around it. So I clicked on that button. And so this oxygen had two lone pairs and this oxygen had two lone pairs. And all I gotta do is poke on it. And remember the other oxygens had three lone pairs. So I'm gonna go back over here, click on three lone pairs, poke on that, and poke on that. And there was no pairs around um, that other oxygen. So here we are. Um, and that's good, actually, yeah. Yeah, that's about as good as we can get. We probably could have spaced this out a little bit more, and that probably would have made it look a little bit better, but um, that's good enough. That's gonna get you um, a good grade on, on that Marvin sketch. That'll actually work for H2SO4. Um, all right, um, let's, uh, let's, do, let's do one more uh, real quick, and uh, let me just get rid of all this real quick. And uh, let's, let's do another, another one real fast over here. Um, let's look at um, 
Uh, how about we do just a polyatomic ion? Let's do carbonate, for example. So carbonate has a negative two charge. So let's go through, follow our rules, and, uh, and get this. So no valence electrons, so carbon has four. Oxygen has six times three, so that's a total of 18. Uh, plus, this has an overall polyatomic charge of negative two, so that adds two more. So we have a total of 24 electrons. Okay, so very important to start off there. Um, carbon is definitely our, most, our least electronegative atom, so we're going to put that in the middle, and all of these oxygens around it. Um, we're going to draw single bonds to start, and we're also going, and then we're going to stick our extra electrons and fill up the outsides. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now looking at carbon, it only has two, four, six. And so what I need to do then is take any of these three actually and take that lone pair and move it over here and make a double bond on one of them. So now carbon has two, four, six, eight, and that's it. Um, and you probably need to actually you know, type this as a negative two up here. All right, so, um, so here we are. So here's um, uh, the carbonate ion. Um, and one thing that you'll know about the carbonate ion or you can notice is that I just took this um, and put this double bond here, but it could easily be here or here. And so that means that um, this is a resonance structure, meaning that if this bond was here, that's one structure, and if this bond was here, that's another structure. So it can have like all three forms, which is what we call uh, resonance forms. And so you could draw out all three forms if you were asked to. Um, that's a piece of cake. Now let's go back over to this, and I'm gonna pull this over so we can uh, get a look at it. So how do we use Marvin Sketch to do this? So um, we've got a carbon, so there's a carbon in the middle. And we got three oxygens. I'm gonna space these ones out a little bit more than I did. Boop, boop, boop. You like my sound effects? Yep, I do. And so um, I had, remember, a single bond between this one and this one, and a single bond between this one and this one. There we go. And actually, let's get a single bond. Ugh, okay. And then this one was a double bond. So I had this one to, ugh. All right, there we go. Okay, so, and then I had um, triple pairs, and so it's already on triple pairs, so I'm gonna hit this one with a triple, hit this one with a triple, woohoo! And then I'm gonna hit this last one with a double to match up here, and there we go. And carbon doesn't have any lone pairs in and of itself. Um, and um, another thing that you can do is, see this negative sign right here? You can show that um, these have an electronegative uh, pull to them if you want to, and um, you know, this one, this is not going to be a, this is going to be a nonpolar, nonpolar atom anyway, so that's not that big a deal. Um, so overall, this has a negative two charge, um, and uh, so. Um, you don't really need to show that in the Marvin sketch, so this would be good. Uh, this would be all you need to do for this one in this Marvin sketch. And so that is the carbonate ion. Um, now we could show resonance here. Um, uh, right here, we could say that we could do this, you see. Now if I did that, it's actually showing that, that this bond could switch with, with all of these. So. Uh, that's what the little dotted line is saying. It could, uh, this double bond could be here, 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 right? Uh, just like that. So, um, so that's kind of what that little button right there is. All right, well, hopefully that helps uh, showing you how to use Marvin Sketch and then how to draw uh, Lewis dot structures. And so this is a simple way to do it, and you should be able to get most of your structures drawn pretty easily and get your homework done. All right, thanks, guys.